Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to this Let's Play of EU4 with our Randomonium campaign. I'm Keb. I'm Perry. And let's resume. I will need to see if, if I might actually have an opening here. But I, I'm kind of not ready for war. Does this man have any openings I might fit? Wait, sorry. there's, there's the your Imperial. And there's the piece as well. Okay, no, that, never mind then. <laughs> That's the window closed. That, because that should, let's see. Hopefully trigger something more interesting. No, I would not be surprised if Austria was unable to steamroll them now. Do I have any openings this man might fit? Now, I'll have to focus on rebels, I think, because I have... Just a little bit of revolt risk after my project of of lowering autonomy. Yep, Austria would defend now. Of course they would. They're a free city, Austria will protect them. So why didn't you protect Lübeck? Because they were at war. Yeah, but then they should have... Yeah, I don't know. You'll notice as soon as Austria went to war, all that chaos broke out. Yeah. Not saying that's actually the cause, but it's probably the cause. <laughs> well, let's see. Oh, I think England decided to go. Yeah. Oh, well, still no conquest mission, but they are now really, really pissed at me. Oh my god, my Regency Council is 100. Zero, zero. I see Austrian troops on the move. Please don't move in my direction. That's not your trading, is it? No, it's not, and you're not allowed to. Oh. Well, boo. Boo? Boo. Okay, if Liebeck dies... Trying to figure out it. If Liebig dies, then the train disappears. Can't help you on that, uh, sadly. Yeah, but there's still free cities. I couldn't do anything. Uh, because a uh, emperor would defend them. Of course he would. If only, the if only the Emperor would get hit by a falling cart. <laughs> uh, he's been crushing just about everyone, and the only one that could possibly stand up to him is France. And France has the common sense to not get in his way. And so far. But uh, the, papal, the Pope is aggressive. So as soon as the Pope attacks Lucca, for example, then things will be... things will be happening. I'm sure the Pope was being diplomatic, actually. He's a di personality diplomat. <laughs> I don't believe it for a second. <laughs> He's a battle Pope, through and through. Battle Pope? Battle Pope. <laughs> I suddenly get this horrible idea of a collectible card game where you basically f build armies, build decks of cards around Popes you throw down to try to defeat using various saints and litur liturgies. 
I summon Urban the second. <laughs> and I, I tap three Sistine chapels to invoke. Oh, anyways, uh, given the way the world is, you could probably actually make that work, and you'd probably get the Vatican to sign off on it. Denmark took took Lee back. It looks like they are leading the siege. Uh, let's see, armies. I was looking at Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Frankfurt, where are you? There you are, you have a okay. And just so I don't go on the same bloopers last time, let's check leaders. It's not a bad thing to check when you play this game. Unfortunately, they, the problem is that they draw, don't roll the leader until the war starts, so suddenly they can end up with something really, really obnoxious. Mm. Fair enough. Mm, F, Florence, Florence, Florence. Okay, Frankfurt doesn't have a leader. Currently, but of course as soon as we start... They will. There you go. Würzburg. Versus Anhalt. <laughs> what just happened there? What? I just got a message from that Norway switched their capital five times. But, oh, they got, oh, they got annexed. Yeah, they blew up. Yeah, they really blew up on someone. Wait, England went to war? With whom? On France. Sorry, France went to war against England. Against the Labord. So they did. Ah, oh, well, at least... Hey, Fran France is showing life. Yeah. And with England being hostile, I don't really mind them being weakened a bit, and I expect them to be. And England has how much troops now? 33k. Of course, this means the end for Scotland. Why are you going for them? No, I just figured that Scotland would be pretty much toast in this war. Since they're both... <laughs> yeah. Come to think of it, can I declare war on them without... Yeah, well, let's see. I assume France will answer, so... It's not really something I can do. Well, where are the rebels? I thought you said five years. This isn't five years. Okay, I'll have to see what we can do. What? Ah, darn rivers. Oh, there's rivers everywhere. Okay, we need to kill one rebel stack at a time and see if we can fix this. Woods March. Oh, wait, this is Show Province. David. Okay, let's go there then. Oh, look, it's an Austrian king. Ooh, Austrian Regency Council. Not a bad time to go after Austria. Or Holy Roman Holdings. <laughs> okay. Why? Well, now the, well, they're a Regency Council, so they can't declare war. Yeah, but they'll still extort you and do all the fun stuff, so yeah. How am I doing on favors? Six favors. Three. Four. Six. Two, four, six, eight. Forty. 
Yeah, we'll boost up there. my army I'm Ugh. rebels bastard bastard rebels and that rebellion fired a lot faster than I thought it would Seems like. I guess they only got cash out of it then. Okay, I'll have to try to kill these rebels. Leroy! 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 Oh boy. Yeah, this... Rudolph, you suck. Rudolph, you really suck. Good god. Okay, retreat. And since everything's just gone to bits, well, I'm gonna switch units. somewhere. Technology map mode, where are you? There you are. Here or... Okay. We're gonna be spying. Build spy network in Thüringen. Because they be smart and we be not. And exit Sweden. So how's that ugly Eastern War coming along? Oh, I've got a Regency, so nothing. Oh. That's gonna happen no matter what. Okay, we're gonna do that. Yeah, I have, uh, I have some rebel issues. So we'll see if I can... Just a few? Yeah, just a few. We're, I'm going to... Curve one and... Smash another, and hopefully I'll be able to ki deal with both of them. Come on, don't, please don't roll. How come they have higher morale? Can't help it. Oh, this is starting to be infuriating. 
Sorry that you found my version of the combat engine. Well, on the bright side, my country is largely converted. One holdout province. Of course, the money I gained is just gone. Do you spend it all on wine and hookers? Yes. Cool. Well, money well spent. Yeah, I have some Hussite rebels that just... Yeah, they won't go away. I don't know how to... <laughs> I can't seem to kill them. And Francis landed in England. This could get interesting. Of course, Scotland has already been sieged, so... Scotland would probably bow out and... ...give stuffs. My goodness, Saxony is just gone. And they're still at war. Uh, you declared war on... Oh boy. Okay, Portugal. I'm fine. I'll join your war. I wouldn't... Oh, I've completely forgot my explorer died. Run away, please. Run away. At any rate, Scot uh, Portugal decided it's time to beat up on Mali. Called me into that. <laughs> please tell okay. me you called in Spain. No, nope, they didn't. Just me. Me and Portugal versus Mali. That's actually deep in the realm of different. Yeah, I have rebels, so... Good luck, Portugal. Good luck defending your colony. Because we ain't doing jack shit about that. We're going to be up here not looking stupid. <laughs> That's one way of saying it. Yay, more loans. Okay. Come on, come attention, come on. It's could have been worse, I suppose. Could have gotten stabbed. I got a 4-0, 1-1. Zero, one, one. Oh my! Of course, I don't know if the fire phase has actually started mattering. Uh, has it? Uh, let's see, fire, fire, fire. Ignore the cat in the background. There's a cat in the background. Oh, she's, she's pawn. I couldn't hear it. I'm preoccupied, so. Oh, these rebels. Come on. They had no leader, but they've beat me back two times. Why? Wow. Enjoy that then. I thought, uh, doesn't, um, doesn't, uh, Musk, we have the Western, Western Focus thing? Yes, but I have to get Danzig to get it. And this is, this option is available here and now. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> Danzig isn't in the Empire. No, they's not. they're not. No, but it's deeply aligned with the Hanseatic League and adjacent to Poland. <laughs> and I and I have no fleet, so oh, yeah. And Poland would be very upset about that. I would rather I would rather westernize and come through Poland. Okay, there we go. Now I can go down and deal with the next rebellion. My most rebellious province is the one with this Center of Reformation spawned. So, yeah. Well, at least that's relatively historically accurate. 
Poor Scotland. They ain't feeling too good. Sweden is crushing Denmark, by the way. They are? Yeah. How? If you look up and back up in Sweden proper. No, that's just land they hold, and that's fort, lands without forts. When the entire, the entire Danish army is parked in Stockholm, so they'll surrender any moment. I like my version of the story better, thank you. <laughs> that's almost yeah. like saying that Scotland is going to be freed from this, the ongoing campaign here. But they're not. They're going to be divvied up. Tyrone's making a pretty good pl play at it. Yeah, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'd laugh if they forced their eternal territories to me. That, that would have been cool, but <laughs> that won't happen. Or maybe it will. They've changed leader now. They now have a colonialist. Oh, have they actually gotten far enough to get... Yeah, Exploration 3. Oh, there is a god. They're going after. Um, they're going after Colombia. It's a rougher place to go after. Yeah, I don't mind. I probably maybe they don't have reach to reach the Atlantic seaboard. I don't care as long as that gives, that gives me a tiny, tiny bit of edge. Tiny edge. Oh yes, manpower. Something that rebels took from from me. Fifteen k just poof. Yeah, that happens. And why did my fort activate? Oh, that button again, I forgot. My fort activated again. I don't want them. Deactivate. I don't think Mali is gonna sail up here. It's Good luck, Portugal. I'm kinda surprised they... Go ahead. They haven't taken the Portuguese colony yet. What's going on? Oh, they are in another war. Oh well. Do it. I need every bit of money I can get. Let's see. Ten army tradition. That's nice, but yeah. An aspect of faith. We shall take. Well, right now, manpower recovery speed seems to given. <laughs> Since I'm at zero manpower. It also means I should do that, but I don't get reinforcement costs until I have manpower to actually reinforce with. Sounds convoluted. Yes, it's a, it's a very complex plan. Full annexation was demanded. Exit Sweden. So now we are one big friendly neighbor. Oh, won't you be my neighbor? And now my turn to deal with a cat. Ugh. Being ambushed. Cat wanted. Cats want. Cats want attention. Uh. Cats want what cats want. Actually, you know what? Since I am going through this westernization mess, stand my forts up just to be safe. Oh. No. Yeah. Just in case there's a rebellion in a spot that I'm not prepared. <laughs> It'll keep them from moving around too much. So at least there will be one huge Protestant country. Denmark? Yes. It's kind of fun because they might actually be able to challenge 
challenge Austria as well. Po Denmark and Poland. Well, they might. Where's, where's the fourth reformed? There are only Sorry. three. Oh. Well, I, I thought they'd increase them to four. No, just three. And then, then mm -hmm. there will be three reformed ones. If, if any countries change once that hits. Come on, little center. Reform, reform, reform. Convert, convert. Everything. I mean, even Austria has a converted province, thanks to Bohemia. And oddly enough, they are still gaining a ton of imperial authority. Uh, yeah, Austria. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't explain it. Yeah, I expect to be gray skinned here. <laughs> This rate. In Grayskin, uh, that the Austria will actually form the Holy Roman Empire. Oh. It could happen. I have not heard the term before. Uh, it's a common tactic in in world conquests. You basically become the emperor past all the reforms, and then you don't have to deal with the entirety of the empire. Because you get it in one fell swoop. Mm hmm. No, I'm I'm familiar with the process. I'm just unfamiliar with the term "gray-skinned." <laughs> so let's see. How long does that last? Uh, I did last for another. Oh. Oh. Fifteen forty-one. Well, that's a bit longer than I thought. Okay. So it lasts for 25 years. Okay. That's gonna be... Well, this is gonna be a fun ride, I guess. Well, what lasts for 25 years? Uh, I reduced... When well, I reduce autonomy. Oh, okay. So then you get the, the plus 10% revolt risk for X year oh, wow. for 25 years. But I had to do that. I had to so, uh, do so much. I couldn't attack, so... Um, Scotland lost land. Five. But only five. Scotland will annul treaties with France. Oh my goodness. Um, you gonna go kill them now? Why can't I? Where the hell is this Oh, province? I lost... Okay, I lost my course up there. Yes, I do that. Yes, of course, when you... Uh, can I... No possible neighboring province. So the only war I can declare is humiliate rival. But if I do that, I can't take land. And, so I, and I can't even declare no CB war. To take land, since I'm a rival. Oh, this is a catch-22. Uh, what, from Scotland? Yeah. You can't put in a spy network to falsify a claim? I don't have a border with them. So I can't. And the cores I had up there are gone. Because they're already released, right? So, yeah, I can't do anything. I can humiliate them for power projection. That's about it. But that's... Yeah. Humiliate? But couldn't you also release that one section of them? And then vassalize them? I don't know how that's gonna work if I... That, and I have no CB on that, so yeah. Ah. It doesn't matter. I have no manpower, so I can't really go to war. Uh, you're a piece of work at times. Yes. Alright, just as long as you're aware of this. <laughs> and it sounded like the timer went off. It did, and just let me wrap up this batch of rebels real quick. Oh. Rebel, rebel, rebel. Rebel, rebel, rebel. Rebel, rebel, rebel re revolution. Uh, something like that. Alrighty, folks. That was, that, that was indeed our timer in the background. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Yep.